something sitting on a book. All right. Okay, we're going to plug this in. We're going to boot the system up. That's plugged in. That is plugged in. And there she goes. All right. Time to pick up Um, iPad, show the screen. Got ourselves a Happy Mac. OS 8.6 is coming up. Let me see if I can brighten up the screen some. It's a little bit too too much contrast. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can set it down. And, and I'm going to try to hold it in one hand as still as possible so that I can get to the mouse here, which is working. Oh, CD tray opened up. So this is a pretty complete system here. I always did like the 1400. I really apologize for the shaking and the movement. I just don't have a good system to do this with. But I am so, so happy to be getting back into collecting the vintage Max. It always was a tremendous amount of fun and it's been a couple of years since I've uh, actually acquired one. So here it is. I'm looking at one of my favorites, the PowerBook 1400C 166. Obviously the PRAM battery is, is uh, kaput because I've got an X up here through the battery and it says it's 12.02 a.m. Probably thinks, oh, it thinks it's 04. It thinks it's 2004. All right, so came up into a launcher. The launcher shows Acrobat Reader, shows PowerPoint, Word, Excel, works 4.0, something called Act 1 and something called Compact and something called Quark Pro. I'm just going to drop out of that there. We're going to take a look at about this computer. Mac OS 8.6 built-in memory is 64 megabytes of RAM. Virtual memory 65 megabytes used on PowerBook 1400C. The largest unused block is 51.6 megabytes. Dark side is using a megabyte. Mac OS is using 13.2 megabytes. Very cool. We'll look at the PowerBook. That's an odd symbol for a, a hard drive. Definitely customized. So here's the hard drive. It uh, has five items with 1.3 gigabytes available. We have an Applications folder. In the Applications folder, we see Act 2.8, Acrobat 3.0, AOL version 4, Apple Extras, the Audio Player, the uh, Compact Pro 1.3, Dark Side of Mac 4.2, Games, Internet, Office 98, Works 4.0, uh, let's see, Quark Express, I don't know what that is, QuickTime, Spell catcher. Here I am trying to scroll with my fingers because I'm used to the stuff we have today instead of having to press the button, the mouse button, on the scroll bar with the actual mouse. How far we've come. 
since the mid 1990s when this computer was uh, shipped. Okay, let's take a look at you know, games. See what they got on here. Backgammon, Eric's Solitaire Sample, Phrase Craze, and Solitaire. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, CD-ROM. Not much in there. Cool icons. I bet you, I'll bet you, that that shows. Well, yeah, exact. That's what it is. The PowerBook icon that they're using for the drive is being taken from this Cool Icons uh, software that's been installed on the system. That's very interesting. Looks like it's also taking up a heck of a lot of hard drive space. Heck of a lot. Okay. Let's look elsewhere. The system folder, of course, is going to have uh, has another copy of AOL. It has Claris. So Claris is in here. And that has MacWrite 2, plain text, RTF. Doesn't have the full version of Claris. And there is quite a bit of other stuff on here as well. Mac OS ROM is in here. Startup items. Let's have a look in there. I don't like it when they boot up into the launcher. I would like to be able to figure out how to turn that off. It, but the launcher is in the startup items, so I figure that if I just move that out or delete it, then it wouldn't come up in the launcher. That would be intuitive. That would be very Mac-like, I would think. Okay. And we go up here. All right. And utilities, of course, is going to be your OS 8 utilities that we always find. Disk first aid, drive setup, and the setup guide. All right. Look under the folder. We got AOL 4 System Profiler. We'll pop that up here real quick. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it for the first time. Okay, Finder 8.6, System 8.6, QuickTime 3.0.2, Disk Cache 2 megabytes, Virtual Memory 65, Built-in Memory 64 megabytes, Mac ID is 310, PowerBook 1400 series, Processor is PowerPC 603, Machine Speed is 167 megahertz, and see. The hard drive is a 2 gigabyte drive with 1.39 gigabytes available on the disk for files. Uh, it's 30% full. There it is, fellas and ladies, too. What we have here is a Macintosh PowerBook. That's blurry. It shouldn't be blurry. Well, it says PowerBook 1400C-166, an old Mac. First vintage Mac in two years. One of my favorites, and there will be more coming, I assure you. In fact, I am working on one right now, which is new in the box. It's never been opened. came off the assembly line in 93 and has never been opened. I had one like that before, and that was really a, a neat experience. Hopefully, this one will be that way again. Uh, you can look up on Mac Tracker what the different systems are that came out in '93, and but I'm gonna wait to tell you what it is until hopefully I get it. It's still uh, it's still an open auction. So, all right, there it is, Macintosh 1400 C. 166. Thanks for watching.